New tropical cyclone likely in the Bay of Bengal on tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin. And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for November 28th. We're deep into the last throws of the Northern Hemisphere seasons. Um, we are still at 78 storms so far this year. Of course, we had the brief formation of Tropical Storm Ramon earlier uh, last week. Um, and we are code blue for the Indian Ocean, where we look at, it looks like we're going to see another storm form there soon. In the Atlantic, on day 181 of hurricane season, it's peaceful, there's not much going on at all. That area of interest that was active in the eastern Atlantic is still traceable, it's northeast of the Azores now and it's probably headed to France. In the eastern Pacific, the remnants of Ramon are still traceable, uh, we'll take a look at that shortly, but there's really nothing of them, it is a just a naked swirl on day 197 of hurricane season, and nothing else expected to form in the eastern Pacific. Is that it now? Most people would say yes. In the western Pacific, we've got nothing to mark at the moment, although there's certainly a chance that we'll see something in December, it's very rare for us to not have uh, a storm this late on in the season and in the North Indian Ocean we've got a 70% chance now for this system that looks like it's going to form uh, still just off the eastern coast of Sumatra curious position for a system to be uh, but it will eventually looks like it's going to form near the Andaman Islands and then possibly trail northwards towards um, Bangladesh and looking at the Southern Hemisphere, as a matter of course, there's nothing going on here around the Australian region, uh, but certainly some eyes are set on a possible disturbance in the South Pacific next week uh, in a similar fashion to the others that we've already seen so far this year. Well, let's take a look at satellite imagery around the world, a few areas of interest. Well, of course, this one first, the only tropical area of interest that we're looking at today. This is Invest 99W. In other words, that 70% area of interest that we've marked. And if you're curious about that area there, that's just into the Andaman Sea and eventually towards the Bay of Bengal proper. Uh, certainly not much rotation on this yet. Uh, some convection, which is completely blown away to the southeast. Uh, so real disorganization at the moment uh, reigning supreme uh, but eventually things will get better for this system and most models have it forming in one way or another although the track forecast is very uncertain this little swirly that's what's left of ramon a storm that peaked with winds of 45 miles per hour somewhat unexpectedly and this is what the atlantic looks like right now the gulf region a lot of uh, moisture and precipitation moving through mexico into texas and louisiana there um, and this is the northern eastern pacific a very uh, nice looking extratropical cyclone swirling around there well off the coast of california uh, and um, in the Australian region there, we've got some rain picking up as well. Honourable mention to this today because uh, there's going to be very high amounts of precipitation in the southern part of New South Wales in the next week. Uh, so look out for that as well for those watching down under. And a final look at what's left of Ramon there to round off that satellite imagery period. Well, this is the latest sea surface temperatures, and believe it or not, they're still very warm in parts of the eastern Pacific off the coast of Mexico. That's been a hot spot for many months now, and those temperatures still pushing 30 degrees Celsius. In the Atlantic, uh, things are cooling a little bit, but still warm enough. In the Central Caribbean, they're still pushing 29 degrees Celsius, and quite a bit around it, around 28 degrees, in a quite expansive area still. In the Western Pacific, temperatures falling away in the South China Sea and around the Philippines as well, really. Only the main open ocean there is still pushing 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, those temperatures starting to drop now. And in the Bay of Bengal, looking at this area too, there is still a hot spot or two there near the Andaman Islands, 30 degrees, that's where that system is heading. But if it wants to get to Bangladesh, those temperatures are now below the 26 degree threshold, so it will struggle. In the southwest Indian Ocean, very warm near Madagascar and warm enough now around Mauritius and La Reunion and those temperatures gradually increasing and spreading further south. 
in the Australian region, piping hot now off the Western Australian coast, above 32 degrees in one or two spots. Coral Sea still has some catching up to do, but it is doing that. And around Fiji, temperatures pushing 28 degrees, nearly there now as well. Um, and certainly to the southeast over Tonga as well, some of those areas reaching the temperatures now too. Compared to average, most areas in the tropical zones are still above average. Uh, significant above average area extending now near Western Australia, uh, but decreasing a little bit near Mauritius. That was more above average than it is now. South Pacific still a little bit below, and that's the funny thing because that's where we've had all the activity so far in the Southern Hemisphere, and the El Nino still very much in effect, if not getting stronger. Still some significant oceanic heat content off the coast of Jamaica, uh, but it certainly looks like the Atlantic, well we can't say it for sure ever can we really, but it looks like the season's over. Eastern Pacific still one or two dregs of uh, higher uh, energy, and in the Western Pacific a few spots still going there as well in those higher latitudes. We're throwing a party by the way on Thursday, the end of hurricane season. November 30th at 9pm UTC, that's 4pm Eastern Standard Time, counting down to the end of Atlantic hurricane season. Well, let's check the GFS computer models then. This is the next five days, and of course we're looking towards this tropical system in the Bay of Bengal, and it does become eventually a very broad system, uh, tries to become a closed tropical storm, and succeeds by the end of that five-day period there, and then it looks like it might start to be on its way uh, to getting a bit stronger, but it does take its time there trying to get itself sorted. Uh, a large, very large system delivering strong elevated wind gusts even to Sri Lanka there. That's all we have in the short range. Looking at the rainfall expectations then out to seven days, we're obviously looking at this area as well, and we could see some very elevated rainfall amounts in some of these areas, especially along the Andaman Islands. Of course, the uh, this system has already caused very high amounts of monsoonal rain uh, for the Malay Peninsula. Could still see a little bit more there as well with rainfall on the Andaman Islands probably reaching 9 or 10 inches there that's 250 millimeters and still some parts of Thailand and uh, down to Malaysia getting up towards 7 or 8 inches that's 200 millimeters there's going to be even higher amounts of rain offshore in the Bay of Bengal there look at that one of the maximums there 25 inches that's over 600 millimeters and if the system does stall closer to land than expected then that obviously could transpose over land in the longer range let's keep watching it then there it is uh, shoving off towards the northeast the broad system as mentioned starts to compact itself and get stronger borderline hurricane actually before weakening very quickly as it reaches the coast of Bangladesh probably only a minimal maybe a moderate tropical storm by the time it gets there this of course being in the moderate range so we've got fine margins to deal with here and that track forecast is far from certain as well but basically the further south it makes landfall the more chance that it will stay strong south pacific then in the moderate range as well looking out for this next potential system forming near the solomon islands on the fifth and there it is starting to sweep down towards the southeast uh, developing as well pretty nicely category one status there near vanuatu this time on the left hand side although it uh, reminds uh, let me remind you that on previous occasions with those two storms already had uh, models initially had it west of Vanuatu ended up going east scan the barcode that will take you through to the force 13 merch store where we have all of our usual products still there as well as our full season and individual storm animations on request and are still waiting for Hone t-shirt uh, which well is certainly much more forthcoming than Hone is in the silly range, and this might be quite silly, it's the Western Pacific throwing up not one but two storms and one of them turns out to be pretty strong. I'm getting Bopa vibes from this one, becoming a powerful typhoon just north of Palau and then driving towards the Philippines there as a Category 4. Now that would be something, and another storm forming way out to sea. Let me point out that we haven't had a storm in November or December um, in 2023, obviously we're not in December yet, uh, but if that was to hold true, that would be the first time since at least 1873, it's extremely unlikely. South Pacific, there's the continuation of that system and it changes course, it turns right, um, as we look at it that is, east north of Vanuatu and then sweeps north of Fiji and then through Tonga 
and probably turns post-tropical there and becomes a large powerful extratropical system after its initial peak as a tropical storm or hurry category 1 hurricane equivalent near the coast of Vanuatu sweeping along to the east and then southeast so that's an interesting complex track up on offer there you can talk about all of this on our Discord server, discord.gg slash force13 for tropical weather and general weather chat with thousands of members from around the world. On this day, a last hurrah of the 2001 Atlantic hurricane season, Hurricane Olga was near its Category 1 peak. In fact, it had just weakened slightly by this point, but was still looking decent um, and certainly an interesting appearance. Not You can tell it's not a fully tropical appearance there, hanging up out in those higher latitudes. We also had Tropical Storm Barco Bessie in the South Indian Ocean, a double-barreled name there heading towards the southwest, a tropical storm at this point in time. Well then, let's go back to today, and we have 78 storms to this year's name. In the Atlantic, the next name, if we still have time for it, is Vince. It's tried a few times already. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Selma. And in the Central Pacific, of course, it is still Hone. Laughable at this point. In the Western Pacific, our next name is Jellowat. And in the North Indian Ocean, it's now Midshang. 92 storms per year is the average in, tw in uh, one year. That sounds a little bit obvious, but we are still 14 away from that. Jasper's the next name in the Australian region. The Southwest Indian Ocean starts with Alvaro. And in the South Pacific, our next name is Nat. That's all from tonight's Tropical Weather Bulletin. We'll be back again tomorrow night. <laughs>